Hola, hola. True Seekers. True Seekers. Es otro día hermoso. Muy, bien, muy adentro, profundo en, en la naturaleza. En la galería maravillosa de Madre Gaya. Y espero que estén disfrutando de de la playa, pero que estén disfrutando de los bosques, una cosa hermosa, True Seekers, bastante vitamina D allá afuera, ahí no se nota pues porque hay demasiadas demasiada plantas, demasiados árboles cubriendo, tapando el sol, <ríe> al cual no me quejo, no tengo lío, se ve mejor, o sea, me veo más claro. <risa> Yo me sugiero eso a todos aquellos que están editando videos, que están grabando videos allá afuera y eso, ¿no? Entre otras cosas. No hay otro lugar que yo desee estar que con las plantas, los árboles hermosos, los animales, cerca del agua también. True Seekers <risa> ah, Hoy les quiero hablar De que Las cosas Las cosas con los con lo, Los ovnis Objetos no Objetos que vuelan Que no, no, son, no son identificados ya están, ya están saliendo a la luz ¿no? Hay una reunión con NASA La cual la cual se está discutiendo este tipo de cosas se ve en inglés no pero yo les voy a traducir hay muchísimo que hablar to seekers <ríe> bueno, primero lo primero vamos a respirar a elevar la energía oh, sabroso a elevar la frecuencia otra cosa estamos haciendo True Seekers a elevar la vibración muy importante también True Seekers absorber ese prana <ríe> ah, bueno como les vengo diciendo se están haciendo reuniones una, una reunión importante recientemente en los Estados Unidos la NASA, ¿verdad? Hablando de, de ovni, de hoy en día que están empezando a salir eh, y todo se está empezando a revelar, ¿no? Y bueno, muy importante que como le vengo diciendo, o sea, el apocalipsis está pasando y ha estado pasando ya un buen tiempo. Y que les vengo diciendo con esto que Apocalipsis, con el término, eh, el término en latín, apocalipsis, ¿verdad? mejor dicho, término griego, apocalipsis, que quiere decir el levantado del velo. La gente se está dando cuenta, True Seekers, de que las cosas son tal cual como son y empiezan a salir de, de por sí, de por sí solas, True Seekers. Yo no tengo que hacer mucho. <risa> Solamente les muestro las pruebas, la cual pueden ser encontradas en, 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 en el internet, en Google, YouTube, entre otros. Yo estoy empezando a salir así solito. ¿no? La NASA ha, ha tenido varios encuentros, la cual ellos mismos relatan de que hay naves espaciales. Ovni saliendo del agua y viene diciendo ahí les dejo una imagen rapidito a una eh, un platillo volador que tiene la forma de, de una pastilla de tiktok o sea la tiktok el caramelo de eso de menta entre otros es pues blanco pero inmenso y empieza a volar en círculos y entre otros 
este hey, las cosas son ciertas los hombres ya están por ahí ya o sea, los alienígenas han estado, han estado entre nosotros hay mucha gente que ni siquiera se dará cuenta pero como les vengo diciendo True Seekers el apocalipsis está pasando y ha estado pasando entonces la gente se da cuenta de estas cosas y ya no hay vuelta atrás True Seekers las cosas pasan así tal cual así creamos no lo creamos y bueno o sea, también les voy a dejar el, el video que habla de, 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 esta, de esta reunión, que, que habla de estos sucesos. Y también les voy a dejar paz y amor, pura gloria, True Seekers. Así les este video. Ms. Mace. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning to our witnesses who are testifying today. I want to thank each of you for being here to discuss a topic of grave importance to our national security. Earlier this year, a Chinese spy balloon was shot down off the coast of my home state of South Carolina. Since the Roswell incident in 1947, many Americans have wondered about the dangers of unknown objects crisscrossing our skies. Whether these are UAPs or weather phenomena, advanced technology from American allied or enemy forces or something more out of this world. So my first question, I have several questions and I'll, I, if we can just be quick on these first two, I'm gonna ask each of you the same question um, and then I'll get to each of you individually. Uh, the first one, when you reported your experiences with a UAP, did any of you face any repercussions with your superiors, yes or no? No. No. I've actually never seen anything personally, believe it or not. So. <laughs> All right. Um, and then do, do you believe there's an active disinformation campaign within our government to deny existence of UAPs, yes or no? I don't have an answer to that. As previ previously stated publicly, yes. I think previously with like Project Blue Book, yes, but currently I don't speak for the United States government. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have a few questions for Mr. Graves. Um, what percentage of UAP sightings, in your belief, go unreported by our pilots? This is an approximation based off of my personal experience speaking with a number of pilots, but uh, I would estimate we're somewhere near 5% reporting, perhaps. So like 95% basically don't report seeing UAPs. That's just my personal estimate. Um, in the incident off Virginia Beach, do you believe the Navy took the danger to your aircraft seriously after it was reported? Absolutely. Um, a few questions for Mr. Favor. As an expert naval aviator, have you ever seen an object that looked and moved like the Tic Tac UAP? No. Did the Tic Tac UAP move in such a way that defied the laws of physics? The way we understand them, yes. Many dismiss UAP reports as classified weapons testing by our own government, but in your experience as a pilot, does our government typically test advanced weapon systems right next to multi-million dollar jets without informing our pilots? No, we have test ranges for that. It took over 15 years for your encounter with the Tic Tac to be declassified. Do you feel there was a good reason to prevent lawmakers from having access to this footage? No, I just think it was ignored when it happened and it just sat somewhere in a file, never got reported. In a drawer, it happens a lot up here, <laughs> shocker. Um, Mr. Gresh, uh, a couple of questions for you too, sir, this morning. Um, what percentage of UAPs do you feel are adequately investigated by the US government? Of the 5% that are reported. <laughs> um, I can only speak for uh, my personal leadership over at NGA. I tried to look at every report that came through that I could mm -hmm. triage, so. Do you believe that officials at the highest levels of our national security apparatus have unlawfully withheld information from Congress and subverted uh, our oversight authority? There are certain elected leaders that had more information that I'm not sure what they've shared with certain Gang of Eight members or et cetera, but uh, certainly uh, I would not be surprised. Okay. You've stated that the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft. Based on your experience and extensive conversations with experts, do you believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials? Something I can't discuss in public setting. 
Um, okay, I can't ask when you think this occurred. <laughs> um, if you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay, so, and, and you may or may not be able to answer my last question, and maybe we get into a skiff at the next hearing that we have, but who in the government either, what agency, sub-agency, what contractors, who should be called into the next hearing about UAPs, either in a public setting or even in a private setting? And, and you probably can't name names, but what agencies or organizations, contractors, et cetera, do we need to call in to get these questions answered, whether it's about funding, what programs are happening, and what's out there? I can give you a specific cooperative and hostile witness list of specific individuals uh, that were in those. And, and how soon can we get that list? I'm happy to provide that to you after the hearing. Super. Thank you. And I yield back. Otra cosa, True Seekers. Eh, aquí les dejo, ahí les dejo eh, el libro, la cual habla de temas como este y mucho más. Porque sabiendo que eh, viviendo no base a miedo, sino base al amor, eh, tendemos a ver. Eh, todo lo que nos rodea con diferentes ojos y nos muestra tal cual como tal que todo eso allá afuera no, la verdad no nos hace daño sino nos puede hacer daño nuestras propias limitaciones y hermanos y hermanas eso que todavía están siendo controlados por eh, por entidades eh, inorgánicas ¿verdad? esos que toman eh, posiciones de alta figura figuras autoritarias entre otros bueno True Seekers espero les haya gustado y bueno pasenla muy bien chao